Welcome to Mathematics with M's, Grade 10, Algebraic Expressions. We're still busy with factorization. Now we're going to factorize by using grouping in pairs. Don't forget to give me a huge like and to subscribe. Remember, subscription is free. Example 16. Factorize the following expressions fully. There's an A, B, C, and a D. Let's start with A. AX plus 3A plus 2X plus 6. So in this example, if I group the first two and I group the last two with a plus in the middle, then A can be a common factor for the first bracket and 2 a common factor for the second bracket. And it works because my two brackets are the same. So remember now that's the idea. You must always make sure that you end up with two brackets which are the same. Then x plus 3 is your common factor. What is left then is a plus 2. Let's look at b. 2x squared plus 4xy minus 3xy minus 6y squared. Again, if I group the first two and the last two with a plus in the middle, then for the first two, 2x two is my common factor. And for the second one, I take out a negative 3y. And then I get x plus 2y, so it works. So again, I have the same bracket in both terms, which is automatically the common factor x plus 2y. So what is left is 2x minus 3y. Please don't forget, there are other combinations possible. You need to play around and see which combinations work. Look at the third one. a to the power 3 minus 4a squared minus 4a plus 16. So here, if I again group the first two and the last two, then I have to take out a negative for the second two, which will be 4a minus 16. And then in the first one, I take out a to the power 2 as a common factor. And now my two brackets are the same. Namely, they have the same bracket a minus 4, which is then a common factor. Take it out, and you're left with a squared minus 4, but a squared minus 4 is sub indifference, remember? So it's a plus 2 and a minus 2. There is a second method for this one. You group the first and the third term, second and the fourth one, and then you have a different set of groupings now. Then your first bracket will be a3 minus 4a, and for the second bracket, you take out a negative to give you 4a squared minus 16. Then take out a as a common factor for the first bracket, 4 as a factor for the second bracket. Then you will see they share a common bracket, a squared minus 4. And then the answer ends up the same like the previous method. Look at the last one, number D, 6p squared plus 2pq minus 8q minus 4p. Again, if I group the first and the last two with a plus in the middle, then for the first two, 6pq is a common factor. For the second two, 4. I take out a negative 4 and end up with 2q plus p. Remember, p plus q and 2q plus p is exactly the same. So there you are, the common factors p plus 2q. Or you can say 2q plus p doesn't matter. And you're left with 6pq minus 4. Right? And then, of course, if you take out 2 as a common factor by the second bracket, you get 3pq minus 2. So, therefore, the final answer is 2 times p plus 2q times 3pq minus 2. Right? Have a look at the exercise. It is advisable and recommended that you must work through all the examples and then the solutions appears on the next page. Good luck. Right, so there are your solutions to the exercise. Please mark your work. All the best. Now, this is a Mathematics with M's. Please don't forget to give me a huge like and don't forget to subscribe. Remember, subscription is free.